Hello, hello, everybody. What is up? Jerome here along with a bunch of people. We got Cappy B. We got Weston. We got Ooh. Selena. And we got Rain. And welcome, welcome to an awesome episode of Minecraft Pixelmon over on the sponsored server that we play on, Pokasaga.org. All the information is down below in the description. And if you want to hop on to the Poka Dream Realm, that's where we'll be playing. Also, we get asked all the time, how can I support the channel, Jerome? If you're looking for a free and fun way to do just that, you can hop online the server. That's literally all it takes uh, to help support the channel. Uh, also, guys, I want to say something really big here. We have 67 players online, and we haven't even started the stream yet. That's insane. You guys have blown up the Poke Dream Realm so much that we're now the second biggest, only really to Poke Galaxy at 76. So if nine of you watching this stream join... We're the top realm in the entire server. Um, so once again, if you want to come hang out for fun and free, uh, get online and come join us, and we'll have a fun time here. All you need is a working version of Minecraft Java. Follow the instructions down below, or the video tutorial down below in the description, and you can get online. Shout out to our other sponsor, Apex Hosting, the hosting with the mosting. They provide the servers that we use on a daily basis for our videos. If you think that's good enough for us, I mean, to be honest, I haven't crashed a server in a minute. So if it's Jerome proof, you know they're good stuff. Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. That's all I got. Uh, let's have some fun. So today I need to get a Howl Lucha. Um, Selena has recommended this as the last Pokemon on our team to really spice things up. She promised it'd be super good, and if it ends up bad, it's all her fault. So just want to throw that out there. Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Does Howl Lucha evolve, or is it an evolved Pokemon? Nope. nope. It's just one evolution. I never trust non-evolving Pokemon. <laughs> hmm. Isn't there an item for if you don't have an evolved form to buff you a little bit, or am I crazy? I think you're. It's if you have an evolved form and you don't and evolve you it. Aren't. Yeah, that's Eviolite, right? Yeah. Yep. Bajan Bacchus, thanks for $5 stream tips. Starting us off, said first donation. Also, Cappy's beard is better looking, Jerome. I mean, that's fair. Thank you. That made my day. <laughs> it's all in the beard it's all in the beard 71 people already Jerome look at that Wait, are we actually walking around in circles that yeah. is insane Alec Death Soul thanks for the $5 stream tip hi Jerome you're the best YouTuber Oh, well thank you Alec Aww. I appreciate you you're the best okay so let's see now in order to get Halucha let's wait his best item is According to that thing you sent me, Rain, is Flying Gem, but doesn't that get eaten up after one use? It does, but not in trainer battles. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So, Flying Gem it okay. is. Okay, slash... It's slash tokens, right? To use PB. the, uh... Slash PB. Okay, yeah, cool, slash cool, cool, peanut cool, cool. Butter. Yeah, slash peanut butter. Good thinking. So, I'm, I'm gonna be focusing on making my Metagross perfect, because he's, like... He's a killer! <laughs> I'm going to be focusing on Halucha uh, trying to catch one because I don't know where he spawns. Spawns in mountainous forests, rare, in the afternoon. Oh, God. This is going to be really tough to get. Let's see if anyone's selling one. or. Well, I guess we'll do Biome RTP for now, and then I'm going to see if anyone has one on the AH. Okay. Um, Extreme Hills. Okay, now I just need to look for a... I don't even know what that biome is. I've never heard of a, fo a mountain forest biome. Is this a mountain help forest? Video to help that Attack oh, IVs. To help you out. What? IV stats for I'll speed. I'll over there to help you out try to find one. Bajan Bacchus, thanks for a $5 stream tip. Glad I made your day, Cappy. I might be around for your stream later also. Hashtag Cappy right. for president. Four more years. Oh, no. Not Four of Cappy. Four more years. Not for Cappy. V. Smith, thanks for the $5 stream tip. Hello there, gentlemen. Hope you are having an awesome weekend. I hope you're having an awesome weekend, V. Smith. Good to see you again, pal. Okay, and I actually spent another 30, like, tokens to make my Metagross huge. <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to make him, like, chungus, yes. Absolute beefcake. Slash IVs, one. Okay, so I've got 31 attack IVs and 31 speed IVs now. I think I'm going to put the rest into the defense and HP. Beep, 
see. So how has your day been going, Jerome? You're looking handsome. Thank you. It's been good. I just got done doing an insane craft recording. So happy. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it's going to be a really good one. But I can't say happy what birthday. happens. It's secret. Also, we have 81 players. So we are now the top uh, realm on this entire server. You guys are amazing. And you love your Pixelmon very clearly. Also, what did I just find? Is this an Arceus uh, shrine? Seems so. That's so cool. How do I spawn him? A time space altar may only be accessed at slash warp altar. Oh. Bajan Bacchus, thanks for a $5 stream. Also, Cappy, can you be my dad? Stead has left me behind a box with no food. Not even in the box. He left you behind the box. <laughs> Stead's like, that's my box. It's my box. You can stand near it, but not in it. <laughs> Bro, yeah, you could totally be one of my many army of children. There's an initiation, though. It's called Toddler Fight Club. And, oh, uh, no. <laughs> Dude, where so is Halucha? I can't find... I've never heard of this mythical biome, the Mountain Forest. Let me see. Mount mountain Forest. Mountainous forests. They can be extreme... Okay, so vanilla... Bio it can be extreme hills with trees, so I guess... If you just, I, I guess we just need to look for an extreme hill biome that has trees on it, and that's it. Yeah, you've passed yeah. a few of those so far. Okay. It's like, yeah, here's extreme Nature. hills, and it has like a couple of trees, but it's like right here. Is this an extreme hills forest, I guess? I think, I think we're at one. Slash check yeah. spawns. It's not there, but it also could just be the wrong time of day. Right? Maybe. I think this is it, though. So I'm just going to be... Yeah, I'm just going to stay here. Are I there think. no... Are there no plus HP natures? No, not natures. No. Why not? What? That's kind of weird. So I guess I'll just go... Like, plus a special attack for my Weezing, then. If there was theoretically a plus HP nature one, how much health could you get on a Blissey? <laughs> uh, plus 10%. Oh, so. God. Weird. By the way, we got a bunch of stream tips that came through. Swooper Ben, the man, the myth, the legend, with a five euro stream tip said, Hi, Jerome, how are you and Cappy? What about everyone else? But I'm good. Uh. <laughs> I'm good. Wow. Yeah. We good. All right. Thank uh, you. Max HP. Thanks, Garrett, for becoming a member for the last 23 months. That's huge, bro. Beige and Bacchus, thanks for $5 stream. Huge. Okay, I shall fight club, but I will be blowing every other person up because blast. Fair. Blast. Yes, Swooper blast. Ben mm. with another five euros. And how is Rain? What about Selena? <laughs> and Weston. What are you, yeah. you guys are crazy. Are chopped liver over here? No, that's the guy named Chopped Liver. Ah, uh, you're right. Well, Chopping I know exactly. 85. I know exactly who I am over here. I'm the man who can blow up his Pokemon and cause over 600 damage, so. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. By the way, Commander Blaster for a $5 stream tip. Jerry versus Cappy Battle Dome. That's not a Battle Dome. That's just two guys bonking on each other in the head. Um, but yeah. And Jerry, why run? Wait, why run? Where am I running? And Cappy B, I'm waiting for you to tell some of your stories. What sort of story? It's like the illegal. Once ones. upon a time. <laughs> oh, crime. Crime stories. Um, thank you. By the way, we did just get a. Uh... Wait a minute! Wow, we had a fifty-dollar stream tip from Garrett. Dear God, the captain of the live stream coming out swinging. Uh, he said, "Happy twenty-three months, dude. Happy twenty-three months to you too." Thank you for a $50 stream tip. The crazy part is I know you've been around for much longer than that. I think you had to switch accounts or maybe you had to go away for a little bit. But I remember you've been around since, like, I want to say 2016 or 7. I think you started stream, like, coming to the streams in 2017, if I remember correctly. Or very early. But yeah, dude, thank you for being our captain of this live stream, bro. You're awesome. Thank you, Superman, for a 5 euro stream tip. And how is Selena doing? What about Weston? <laughs> what about Weston? <laughs> well, Selena, how are you doing? Yeah, what about him? I I'm good. 
Beijing Bacchus takes not a funny message, message, but I'm good. <laughs> Beijing Bacchus takes for five dollars stream tip. Who is this rain you speak of? Ah, yes, he has left the editor's realm. This once we've let him free temporarily. We've set him free for once. Um, and yes, buddies, doing X Run would be a funny video. Oh my god, I forgot X Run. That was so sure. silly. Oh, now that we can have everybody's rage face. I would actually be very down for like X Run. How do GTS sell again? Okay. Boom. That just gave me an idea. I just hit Steve up. I might actually do the. Uh, I might actually take the them up on that uh, suggestion and do X Run for a video. Salvador Leon makes a five dollars stream tip. Hi Jerome, I'm a huge fan. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Salvador. Although I think we've met many, many, many times. Uh, Garrett, thanks for a fifteen dollars stream tip. Twenty sixteen Jurassic Craft started a USA chant against Ben. Ah, a fellow man of culture. I see. So it wasn't early twenty seventeen. It was actually late twenty sixteen. That's crazy, man. Well, thank you, Garrett, for being such a big fan and for starting a USA chant against Ben. That's awesome. Um, Garrett, you're the man with uh, $65 of stream tips. You are officially the captain uh, going in strong. Beja Baca sticks for $5 stream tip. My B, who is this Weston you speak of? He's a guy in Discord named Chop Liver over here. Uh, thank you, Swooper Ben, for the five euro stream tip. He said, and how is the rest of the buddies doing? Um, I mean, they're not here, but I'm going to speak on their behalf and say they're all doing great. <laughs> I didn't actually change the name over there. Salvador Leon thinks a $5 stream tip. He said, hello, Mr. Jerome. Hello, Mr. Cappy. Hello, Mr. Weston. Hello, Rain. Hello, Miss Selena. How are my favorite people doing today? I'm doing great. Cappy? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm working on getting my team to be even more face rolly. Westinny? I'm doing good. I'm helping you find a halucha. Yeah, it's not going too well for us. Selena? Ooh, can I come and help? Hmm? How do? Um, yeah. I do. Rain? Good. Do how? Why am I the only one that didn't get a Mr. or Miss? <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> because, he doesn't know. <laughs> because you're a mythical status. You're the editor. Yes. The editor realm. Am I just that disembodied voice now? Yeah, you're the voice of God and reason. Sometimes. I was gonna say, I am not the voice of reason. Yeah, I hate Monopoly with you, bro. I'm sorry, but it just it sucks. <laughs> I give myself a goal, and I keep to that goal. Guys, we're not doing too hot on catching this halucha. Although, I feel mm. like someone pokey gave me one, but I was looking through my PC, and I just couldn't find it. Let me go to, like, all the way through the box one, maybe. Also, when do they add so many boxes in? I can just change the setting. In the shop, I'm getting flare bullets from a boy, Turtonator. Well, oh, I guess I'm just, I'm just making it up in my head, I guess. I really thought that Halucha was here. Do you not have your uh, comp search? What? Um, flare bullets garbage. All right, this is a good question. Slash comp. Search Halucha. Did I misspell Halucha? Or did I do it wrong? No. Oh, because it, it came back with every Pokemon. Does that mean that I don't have one? Um, try putting your IGN before Halucha. Okay. Nope, I don't have any. Dang. No. Okay. That's unfortunate. Drum, stop starving. <laughs> but I, I want to be hungry. How do I do the auction house cap? What is the thing? It's not a GTS GTS ad. Okay, I just want to check the GTS and see if someone just, I mean, there could be a chance someone's just selling one. You never know. Man, you know what I wish I could get for my team? It's a legendary, but I've never been able to get my hands on it. Which it's one was that? a Volcanion. Now, 
Now hear me out. Like I would... sports with Pokemon. Sports with Pokemon? That's just Pokemon Unite, bro. Imagine like imagine Machamp pitching baseballs <laughs> at like be... two thousand miles an hour. <laughs> the mound would have to be though. like at the back wall for like a home run. <laughs> you have to pitch the whole distance of the field. Which Pokemon do you think would do the best in sports like that? Machamp. Yeah, I could. Well, are we gonna allow like psychic powers and stuff like that? Uh, the reason I think Machamp, and I'm not even like joking around, is because if he can genuinely punch at the rate that they say he can, that implies that he probably has really insanely good uh, reaction time and reflexes. And so think about it. You could pitch a ball at him at a million miles an hour, and he'll probably still be able to hit it. And on top of that, he has the mm -hmm. strength to actually hit it and not, like, vaporize. And he can hit it way out of the park. He could also probably throw that ball at a ridiculous there's, speed. There's apparently an episode where there's a Pokemon baseball game, Jerome. Oh, that's actually sick. Yeah. Yeah. I actually forgot about that. How did it end? What Pokemon were there, Weston, if you can remember it all? They all died. <laughs> <laughs> everyone died. The baseball broke the sound barrier. Everyone just died. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. Thank you, by the way. Lumpy Gaming. We got a $20 stream tip. Let's go. Hi, Jerome. I'm currently recovering from a concussion, and watching you makes me feel better. Could get a big old slurp. Oh, the Baka slurp. But I am sorry to hear you're recovering from the um, concussion. I, I hope you get well soon. I know how serious um, concussions can be, so uh, I, I hope you are okay. And make sure you're following your doctor's orders. I don't know if you're supposed to be watching TV or if you're at that level of the recovery, but just make sure if you are not supposed to be watching TV or computer or anything, don't watch the stream. <laughs> don't. Yeah. I'd rather you recover. Sometimes with the light sensitivity, they say to stay away from, like, monitors and stuff for a while. Oh, I missed the first part of it. Was it, like, a Concussion. seizure thing? Oh, yeah, definitely. Ooh. Be careful, man. I'm sending my best wishes for you. Okay. Thank so... you, Bajan Bacchus, for a $5 stream tip. He said, by chance, can Tuesday be Jerry 25 day? I know the perfect map for it. Rockstar created La Mesa. Uh, I actually won't be here all next week. Um, yep, channel's exploding. It's gone. No, I'm just kidding. We, we have videos already done. It took a while to get them all prepared. But I'm actually going away for a semi-secret project. Um, I don't know how long I have to keep it secret for, so I'd rather just keep it secret so I don't get sued. But um, you'll find out soon enough. It's a pretty cool project. I don't want to get rid of Turtonator from my team. Someone just said that someone just put a Halucha in the uh, in the GTS. You're kidding me. Let me see. Someone's gonna totally snag that immediately. There oh, it yeah, is. There he is. Yeah. Price fifteen thousand. Mm. How do I confirm? Click to confirm. Confirm purchase. I did it. All right, we bought a halucha off someone. That works. Nice. Salvador Leon, thanks for the five dollars stream tip. Apologies, fine sir. Hello, Mr. Rain. Hello. All right, so he only has forty percent IVs. That's okay though. We've got a lot of tokens, so let's go ahead and do PB. We got to get the perfect dude with this on my team. I think we're gonna have the just the best. All right, he now has. Perfect HP IVs. I'm also still upset that they don't allow you to have a nature for HP. It would be too strong. Everyone would want it. Okay, one second. I've got a sausage McGriddle with my name on it, and I'm going to go grab that. <laughs> that, and it would add, like, another... God, I'm a... how many would it be? Like, 60? Oh no! Total. I'm out of tokens somehow. What? I I had thousands and thousands of them. No, and I've only had 88% IVs. How is this even possible? My God. 
Thank you for the $5 stream tip from Beige and Bacchus. They said, so no GTA Tuesday. You should hand the channel over to Cappy for a day and have him stream GTA. That could be dangerous. Sebastian Leva, thanks for becoming a member on the channel, dude. Mr. Bald, thank you um, for the uh, tokens, dude. You know, I try. All right, I just redeemed some of my like token kits here um and stuff so i did get some more tokens and i did the slash dr to get some tokens um so frankie has can you lick your what where have you been of what are you what are you even saying can i lick my nose do you even know do you do you even like i can pick my nose hmm I did. On big screen, too. <laughs> so you all can see. Whoa! Someone just gave me... Th <coughs> oh, sorry. No, I read that wrong. Someone won 500 tokens. Someone like, gave me 500 tokens. I was like, oh my gosh. Well, why aren't you winning 500 tokens? Yeah. I wish. I don't know how they won it. <laughs> I want to win 500 tokens, though. Jerome, did we ever fix the problem where when you change scenes, you don't hear Discord anymore? Hmm? What are you talking about? When you change scenes, the audio captures that we do so that Discord and gameplay come through go away. Oh. Yeah, no, but I also have never really changed scenes. That, I, I, I just added that scene right now, just so I could lick my okay. nose. <laughs> All right, so looking at the IVs of Halucha, 90% now. We still have a little bit to go. Not a lot of bit, but that's fine. That might come in time. You also might need to change his ability. His ability? What do you mean? Well, he has to have a. Oh, ability. his ability. Whoa, someone did. Dude, t three people, Super J Dog, Swifty Yolo, and Red Wolf combined <laughs> just gave me like 900. Of them tokens so let's see what we can do with that will that be enough to make him perfect that's enough for his speed to be perfect and what about his special defense hey jerome if you want to get like win some tokens do slash gamble <laughs> you know if i know something about gambling cap can i also lose some tokens <laughs> yes you can <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> But um, that was perfect. The amount they gave me was the exact amount we needed. So now let's focus on getting him. So we have the, the uh, perfect amount of IVs. Now it's about the nature for him. His nature boosts defense at the expense of his special attack. Not the end of the world, I would say, about the special attack because we're doing physical attacking for this guy. But um, definitely not preferred because we could get something that boosts his physical attack. Um mm -hmm. So we definitely eventually want to change up his nature. But at the same time, in order to do that, how much of this is probably going to cost a stupid amount of uh, tokens, I guess. Probably, let's see, nature. So to change his nature, it's, oh, it's only 100 tokens to change nature? That's like literally nothing. Okay, word. So we just need 100 tokens and we could do that. Nice. And then you said his ability might be poop. His ability is unburdened. Okay, that's no, correct. that's correct. Boost the speed stat if it's held item. No way! So it, it, when it uses its flying gem, it boosts its mm -hmm. speed stat. That's and to move acrobatics when you don't have an item is power is doubled, and that applies when you use the flying gem. So wait, wait, wait! One more time! One more time! Sorry, acrobatics. Acrobatics doubles its power when you aren't holding an item. So when Whoa. you use the flying gem, it then gets more powerful. Really? I did not realize that. As well as that. doubling your speed. See, I didn't realize that at all. That's cool. Um, Superman, thanks for a 10 euro stream tip. Jerome, Cappy, Weston, Rain, and Selena, what is your favorite third gen Pokemon? Mine is Blaziken and Groudon. I had both of them at level 100 in Pokemon Blue. I actually agree with you. I think Blaziken is my favorite um, from Gen 3. Mm. But um, also, thank you. Someone did give me the uh, 100 tokens that I needed, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, right there. It was Super J, dog. So let's go ahead and let's change up his nature here. 
get this guy to be perfect. But what about you guys? What was your favorite Gen 3? Salamence. Okay. Meta Metagross. Yeah, Metagross yeah. for me. Flygon. Flygon, really? Interesting. Do you actually like battling with it, or do you just think it's cool? I mean, it's okay, but it's mostly for looks. That's fair. Frankie, thanks for the $5 stream tip. Hey, y'all, can we get to 250 likes super... Yeah, let's go. We're at 181. Yeah. Let's crush it. Hey, Jerome. Yeah. I bet you if you ask real nicely, we can get those three people to get this players to 90. Oh, four people. Guys, can we get 90 players in the server? Can we do it? Let's make it happen. All right, I need an adamant nature for this guy now. Here we go. Oh, I was thinking about replacing my drift loon. I mean, my turtonator with a drift loon. Interesting choice. Rookie mistake. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Turtonator can like pop off if he gets his shell smash off. But Drift Blim has minimized shenanigans. Yes, and I could also do the trick you were just talking about with that flying gym with acrobatics on it. As well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know there are a bunch of them in uh, the Warp Safari, so. Plus, I wouldn't mind having a few Pokemon I can rotate on and off to mix up my team. Oh, Halucha just got destroyed there. This is going to be a while to get him the... Uh... What's it called? This is going to be a long, long while to train up this Halucha. What are you doing? The EVs right now? EVs, yeah. Just do Dude. the EV two, like worth for two instead of the four one. Nah, it's fine. I'll just die. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have access to an EXP all? Uh, yeah, why? Because as long as they gain EXP from the battle, they gain the EVs, so you could just sweep it with Gengar. And Are you Lucio serious? Drained. Yeah. I do have an XP all. <sighs> You really? have to be careful that nothing else in your party is in there, otherwise it'll mess up their EVs, but... I Actually, mean, I might not have all full EVs. I might have given away... I think I gave away my XP all, to be honest. But let me see. Slash Warp EV. I think they sell that stuff at that place. Let me see. Oh, so that's what the update was about for this game. What? They added the uh, the Dynamax dims. Yeah, I found one. I, I'm looking at one here at the, uh, at the Safari Zone. It's a... Uh... Ah, they saw a lucky egg, not the thing we need. Preform before Ludicolo. That's pretty neat. Lombre? That's Glenn. Oh. Hello. Bruh. That's sick. Can What's I also that? throw in on this? That Pokemon's already in the battle. He's fighting the Dynamax Lombre right now. Oh, that's cool. That is sick. I love it. Also, yeah, you could get on it, but uh, let me leave. Let's see if I can leave, and then we can try it again. Well, I mean, like in Dynamax, you usually team up with some other trainers, is what I'm saying. Swoopman, thanks gone. for the five euro stream tip. Just installing the mod pack. Oh, let's go, dude! Hope we get to see you nice. online. I'm looking for one of those drift looms. They're all hiding, Cappy. Mm -hmm. They better be hiding or else I'm going to get them. Cappy hungry. Cappy hungry. Need ghost type helium. I can talk like this. Okay, come on. Ooh, nice Sil Valley. You know that thing can learn explosion, Patucha? God, Cappy. <laughs> <laughs> I would just be the most hilarious Elite Four ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be like, ah, oh, dude, nice Pokemon. You know that thing can learn explosion, right? All your Pokemon just explode. Just explosion, explosion. 
See, here's my thing. In the Pokemon universe, the explosion strat, like in the anime, would be ridiculous, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because, like, in battles and stuff like that, ooh, random Applin. But, uh, in battles and stuff like that, you kind of know when you're about to get knocked out, and you got a bit of time, right? Yeah. So, like, always having that eject button in a non-turn-based combat system would be ridiculous. Also, one thing that always bothered me about, um, what's it called? One thing that always bothered me about, uh, Pokemon games is I like I mean I like the idea of theming the gyms. I do. I don't like that the Elite Four has themes on the Pokemon you face because like that's not like you wouldn't make it to the top. You wouldn't be one of the best trainers in the world if all your Pokemon were exactly the same type. It's silly. It would yeah. be much cooler if they were just progressively harder as you got like the first one was like, you know, hard, but then it got harder and harder and harder and then the champion was just like uh insane. You know? Like does that make sense at all? Yeah, it does, but I, I I, hear you, and I raise you this. I think if they've trained enough to, like, overcome the Pokemon's weaknesses, that's fine, right? If they got some really crazy strategies and stuff like that that makes it to where, like, a Dragon-type isn't weak to one of their weaknesses, yeah. I can totally get behind that. I think it'd be like, cooler if, if to theme like... it around, like you just said, I think it'd be cool to theme each trainer around strategies. Like, how cool yeah. would it be if one of them had, like, um, well, for instance, I just got Endeavor, so that, that, that that's topical. What if you made it, what if one of them had a team that was based around, like, the move Endeavor, and, like, you know, you hit them, and then they just use Endeavor and lower your health to theirs, and just, like, frustrating strategies that you might encounter. Yeah, I would totally be down for that. That would mean, like, the final Gambit team would be entirely viable, you know? Yeah, or, like, for instance, like, uh, what if one of them had, like, the, uh, the, like, O ultra defense toxic strat where like you know they have shuckle with like super defense or blissey with a ton of health uh and they just toxic you and just keep revi like rehealing themselves like just frustrating things like that like yeah i think that would just make so much more sense and like setup moves like what if one of them was just like okay every single one of my pokemon if it gets a chance to set up you're done yeah wasn't that what the Battle Frontier was, or am I remembering that wrong? That, that very well might be. The Battle Frontier, I don't know what the newest ones are. The only one I really ever played was the Emerald one, and that one I don't think was themed around that. It was themed around different games. Like, they had, like, the Rent a Pokemon one where you didn't know what Pokemon you were going to get or something like that. Mm. And... Yeah, I was just talking about in the anime, wasn't it? Like, they had the one guy who had all the Regis, and then... I feel like the other guy, like the other frontier brains were all like strategies and not types. Oh, also straight up the, uh, the Pokemon frontier and Emerald was just, just straight up impossible. Like, I don't like, how do you, oh, just, yeah. how do you do that? Like, that's, that's the funny thing. You don't. Duh. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You're not supposed to beat the game. You're supposed to eat the game. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm trying. Hmm. I could get an Alolan Executor. Oh, that way I could. Yeah. I, that way I could run a double grass team comp while still having a dragon type. Oh, yeah. The tall one is a dragon somehow. Mm hmm. I just don't think it has. I gotta check and make sure that it has physical type moves. Power, because really power bracers attack, right? Yes, the red one. You guys remember that episode of Pokemon where that guy just straight up had a dark dry? Wait, what? Like yeah. a trainer did? Yeah, a trainer. Like he was battling in like a, you know. The big tournament or whatever, he just straight up had a dark ride. He didn't even just have a dark ride, he had a dark ride and a Latias. Yeah, like what, what was that about? Ash is like killing it in the program advanced or whatever, or yeah. I, I forget which one it was. I think it might have been Diamond and Pearl region. Yeah, yeah, that, I think it was too. But like he was just killing it in the tournament. He was kind of a favorite yeah. to win in that one too, I think. Yeah, but but like he just he has this unlucky misfortune to run into a guy who's running not only like 
a Darkrai, but a Latias. And he takes both of them out with normal Pokemon. Like, also, freaking legend over there. Yeah, like, did they ever explain how that guy got <laughs> to possess such nope. Pokemon? <laughs> Oh, nope. the other thing, he just vanished after that, never to be spoken about again. <laughs> yeah, we ain't never heard of Tobias since. And also, isn't is the lore around legendaries or only some legendaries that there's only one of them? Is that only some legendaries or or all legendaries no, assumed to be there's one? Like, depends. Do you count the movies? I mean, of course, yeah, that's all canon. Ish. So, like, are there like multiple Lugias out there? Just they're rare. There was a baby Lugia. Yeah. And, like, in the movies, there were, like, yeah. shiny versions of the legendary canines or beasts or whatever. Huh. So, like, there was, like, a shiny version of Suicune, Entei, and Raiko. Uh, I just always assumed uh, that there was, like, only one in the universe kind of thing, but... Well, apparently there's, like, hundreds of Celebi. But that's more of a time loop thing. I could see in there that. being loads of Deoxys's and Jirachis in space. Well, there were two Deoxys's, right? In the movie? Ooh, One yeah, of them just... To, come to the Mesa. There's a, there's a boss here. Okay. Uh, TBA ball. That's baby airdrop. No! All right. Well, now on now to get down to brass tacks. Weston, you yeah. were graced with being able to play the Halo Infinite beta. How was it? Oh, dude, I loved it. It was actually really smooth. And unlike most games these days, it actually optimized to my computer. Wow, that's pretty cool. You there? Okay. Jerome, we got a raid over here if you want to, like, come join us. I've never done a raid. Is it fun? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and TPA to me. All right. Uh, yeah. Let me just finish up this battle here. and I'm gonna... How long do I have? Hurry up is all I got to say. Oh, God. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm a coming. Slash Pokey Heel. Slash TPA Cat. Oh, uh, slash TPA Captain. Hi. There we go. So right click this thing. The yeah. energy in this den. Okay. So wait for so wait for others. And you should be able to join. All it says is the energy in this den is all in use. There's another one right over there. It's that beam of light. There you go. Let me there you go. start raid. We can start raid, it says. Start raid. Wait, it says four Dude. players. I see. Cat. I don't see Weston, though. Uh, someone else joined. That's okay. I'll get the next one. Okay. You guys do this Welcome. one. Shell smash. Dude, this is so cool. Up. Right? Is this vanilla this is awesome. Minecraft Pixelmon? Welcome. Or vanilla Minecraft this Pixelmon? Is vanilla, or? This is vanilla Pixelmon. Wow, that's pretty cool. Like, yeah, no, it's cool. actually chocolate. Uh, it's Neapolitan. Oh, it's dead. How do you get one hit? I don't because know. It was just a cubo. <laughs> I'm going to not catch hey, that one. Cartana. Oh, Cartana it gave a ground that. gem. I don't need a ground gem. I need a fighting gem. Flying gem. Flying, flying. flying gem. Garrett, thanks for the $10 stream. According to Pokemon lore, legendaries are keepers or protectors of nature and the balance of the world, so it makes sense to have more than just one of them. Interesting. Yeah. Cheyenne Osterlin, thanks for a $10 stream tip. Uh, get Hypnosis and Dream Eater on Gengar with Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball. No, our, our Gengar is so stacked Shadow right now. Shadow Ball. <laughs> yeah, wait, why Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball? I know the setup you're going for, but the Gengar we have, I promise you, is is set up. It's what? literally set up to be as perfect as possible. What's your move set on your Gengar again? Uh, it's gnarly. It's um, Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave, Icy Wind, and Focus Blast. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Weirdly enough, Bro. they want me to raise his special defense stat. Binacle. It's just to help you live some hits and be able to get your unburden off. Dude, last time I was here, there was like a good number of Drifflins, and now I can't find one. Yeah, I'm going to spawn. And... Where does Drifloon spawn? Like um, in mountain in area. the sky. Thank you, yeah. Selena. That was so You're helpful. Welcome. You're welcome. I'm always here to help you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I appreciate it. You're definitely okay. not third yep. impostering right now. If you guys are playing a Pokemon game, like, for fun, do you guys actually go and EV train your Pokemon? I've never done that. Like, I've just been like, all no. right. Yeah, okay. I've never done ne it. Never fun. in the main game. So yeah. Well, sometimes... I, I did when super training was a thing. What's super so training? So Gen 6 and 7. Oh, oh, yeah, I got what does that mean? You can um, play a mini game. Yeah. It was basically just a mini game to increase your EVs instead of, you know, going out and battling. Oh, Teleportation okay. was canceled either. It's like you could do in. it from level 10. Excuse me? So. Okay. Warp. I would sit there right after the first gym, just fully EV train everything by sitting there for hours and, you know, you get other stuff. Apparently, there's a bunch of Drifloom at the Psychic Gym, so I'm gonna try that. Alright. If not, I'm looking at a couple of them. Take that, Blissey. Yeah, take that. Get some of that. Wanna square Blissey. up anytime soon, Jerome? Someone said there's a flying gem in the GTS. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. All right, I gotta just run through this before someone else steals it. I ain't flying gem, five yet. grand. Done. Boom. Book it. Like, like I said, I'm looking at three of them right now. Okay, I'm gonna try TPA into you again. Maybe because I was in the air earlier. Question. Yeah. Why would I want a flying gem Drop instead there. of a fighting gem if you said that acrobatics does most of its damage after? Because the gem gets used up before the move gets used, so acrobatics gets the boost on the first move. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, so the flying gem will proc. It'll boost the power of your flying type move. And then acrobatics will read it as if you don't have an item because you just used it. Okay, that's actually so really cool then. Also get the double damage. So if you play this right with sword stance, you could have a double attack, double speed, 110 power on acrobatics and 120 power on close combat, both stab. Mod. Well, my Pokemon is. Looking really good. He now has perfect IVs. He is coming up on perfect, or he has perfect IVs. He has perfect EVs. He has the perfect ability. He has the perfect nature. He has the perfect held item. And he's about to be level 100. So the only thing left after that will be just getting the move set. And then um, my team will be entirely maxed in every way, which is really cool. I've never ready? had that before. Are you ready for this 6v6, Jerome? Oh, I'm ready, Caffey. I'm ready. Cheyenne Osterlin, thank you for a $40 stream tip. Cheyenne said the names for the main characters for Fire Red and Leaf Green are Red, Blue, and Leaf. Really? Yep. Huh. Weird. Okay. But Cheyenne also, thank you for a $40 stream tip. Like, $40 stream tip is insane. So I do want to thank you so much for that, Cheyenne. And also, thank you for coming around so often. I know you're a regular around these parts, and we really do appreciate having you. Yeah. Jerome, did you use the flying move in an NPC battle? Oh, do they not count? I did. I didn't know that they didn't count. Or they count. Oh, that's annoying. I thought the trainer battles didn't count, but you meant literal it, trainers. Tra tra literal trainer battles, not oh, NPCs. Oh, that's so lame, dude. I thought it was I thought you meant like well, all trainers, because this is a trainer battle. That's so lame. My all right. mistake. No, nah, it's my mistake. I'm the one who lost the gen. <laughs> Salvador Leon, thanks for the $5 stream tip. Uh, he said, I've always liked the Diamond and Pearl games. Also, that's when I started playing the video games. Diamond and Pearl is great, and I can't wait for the remix. I mean that. Yeah, I'm super excited. I heard they're keeping in pretty much all the stuff from the originals. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Cheyenne, the, uh, that does, seals. I want to say, Cheyenne, that also makes you the second highest stream tip right behind Garrett. So you are almost the uh, the captain there, You're like the vice captain. Thank you. Dude, I can't I mean, wait. Did you get did you get what you need, Cappy? What? The Drifloom. Yeah, I did get a Drifloom. I'm excited okay. for it. Just check it. In the actual Pokemon games, do flying gems, uh, I'm assuming, same thing? Do they not get used up if you're playing a, a actual player, but they do in, like, NPC battles? Yep. 
So then what's the point of gems in those games? Like, it's just, like, one time, like, use it wisely, Anakin. Let's see. Basically. Yeah. I, I, there's a reason that they don't actually exist in the games anymore. Oh, they don't? Really? Yeah, they do. I thought they I got rid they of them. Do. No, I'm pretty sure they got rid of them. I think that's why Alucha only uses those seeds. Let's see. Maybe one. Well, the seeds are also just better. But... Maybe two. Let's see. There we go. There's my choice scarf. All right, well, we now have level 100. We would be perfectly prepared, but I messed up. So, we are not. Um, want to fight? I want to buy this flying gem. Boom! There Thank you, you! Someone just sold me a flying gem off the AH, the GTS. Only the normal gem is. All right, Cap. I'm ready to battle. I officially have... Yeah, Jerome. I officially have a perfect team. I'm just going to spawn. Oh, I didn't get moves yet. I apologize, Cappy. I lied to you. Okay, okay, okay. I lied to you, okay. and I'm ashamed. <laughs> the the move set is kind of important for this month. Oh, yeah, the normal gem exists. That's her. Mm. So, That's now, sad. question. Because I thought Dragon Dance doubled your attack, but it doesn't. It does 50%. Swords Dance doubles it, though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay. Swords Dance only does attack, whereas Dragon Dance does attack and speed. Okay, got it. Metagross learn sword dance? <laughs> no. Dang. <laughs> Not legally. <laughs> but in ways of crime. Yeah. yeah Are you suggesting crime? crime? I would I would, I would love to be able to do like a crime team? Black market TMs that work on any Pokemon. Cheyenne Osterlin, thank you for a five dollar stream tip. I was an adventurer like you, but I took an arrow to the knee. You remember when that was like the hottest meme ever? Oh my god. Over a decade ago? Yes. That was a long time ago. <laughs> and yet, I still hear today that they're still remaking that Skyrim. Are there? Oh, there's another Probably. Room in my inventory. Probably for the newest generation of consoles, yeah. <laughs> okay, Halucha, all he needs left is acrobatics. Ooh. Um, so let's see. Do they, is that a flying move tutor thing or no? Okay, so I'll have to use a TM slash shop. Yeah, it means nothing to me because, you know, I'm not old, but, uh, they're, they're porting a bunch of, uh, N64 and, uh, Sega Genesis games to the Switch. Nice. Salvador I Leon makes the $5 Pikachu. stream tip. Who would win in a fight between Rain and Selena? If you're talking Pixelmon, Selena. She knows everything about Pokemon. And then so. That's actually <laughs> debatable. If you're talking real life. Wow! I Wait, Rain. I hate you. You don't think when you have gone. Played. I am fairly certain our win loss is literally 5-5. Five, five. You just ruined this whole relationship. <laughs> <laughs> How to do it in one quick move. Uh, do you need the TM or TR? Uh, I don't know. I just bought the t the TM, and I'm just kind of hoping. Undefeated in the tournament. Yeah. Huh? It worked. So acrobatics normally does 55, but it okay doubles, and it'll double. Wait, or d does it double, or just says this attack inflicts massive gem damage? Gem is 30. Gem is 30 percent. Acrobatics doubles, so it'll be 110, and then it'll get 30 percent on top of that. That's silly. Wait, is that is that Steve? There's uh, someone who's Mega Man named Sight Music 88 here. Someone um, take his old name? Or is yeah, it a nickname? Have... No, it could just be a nickname. Okay. Okay, Rain, Rain, help me out here. That's funny. So, uh, what if I got rid of Stealth Rocks and gave my Alolan Golem charge instead? It still suffers the same problem as Stealth Rocks, where you're not really going to live many hits. So right. spending a turn doing any sort of setup and not attacking is kind of a waste because yeah. you're not going to live two hits. If you live one hit, you want to get the damage off. So what do you think then? What should I replace Stealth Rocks with? Explosion. Your special attacker? No, it, it's a physical attacker. Uh, do you have Rock Wrecker? No, I don't. How do I get that? I have no idea, and I have no idea if it can even learn it. If it can't, then Stone Edge. 
Stone Edge. Okay. Wait, he, the guy just said it's not a Nick. So that guy literally no, just. No, they, they, he actually has the name. Wow. He actually has Steve's name. Sebastian, <laughs> thank you for a $50 stream tip. Dude, That Sebastian, you are now the vice captain of the live stream. That is insane, buddy, a $50 stream tip. Hey, Jerome, big fan, finally became a member and glad to be one. Let's go, dude. We're glad to have you here. Thank you so much for spending some time on your weekend hanging out with us. And thank you for that tremendously generous stream tip, my man. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Hey, Jerome. Yeah. Sorry. You want to know what his old name was? Yeah. Nice poop. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> well. It's quite, the, it's quite the upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is a definite Dude, upgrade you, of a name. What do you think about Zen Headbutt for my Metagross instead of Hammer Arm? Uh, it depends on the coverage of the rest of your team. If you have fighting covered, like not really. else has a fighting move, then I'd say go for it, but... Yeah. Cheyenne Osterlin, thank you for a $5 stream tip. Cappy, the eyebrows on an Alolan Golem mean they are the leader of their pack. Really? What? Is that is that in the lore? Cause that's kind of cool. That's neat. Probably a Pokedex entry somewhere. Okay, we squaring up, Jerome. We fighting. Uh, yes, we are. But oh my God, Garrett with a fifty dollars stream tip said Woo! people getting a little too close to my title. So here you go. Well, dude, they are definitely getting close to your title because I think you're now at one hundred and twenty five dollars a stream tip, and then Sebastian hitting it with a fifty dollars stream tip right after that. He said sorry, Jerome, can't be the vice captain or captain because I'm in the army, and sadly I have to go. Well, dude, thank you so much for your service. I really do appreciate that. We all do. Um. And thank you for being here while you could. Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you for dropping a hundred dollars. Dude, there's a lot of things to thank you for. But, uh, just, dude, you're awesome. Have a fantastic start to your week. I hope you have a, uh, a great time. And, uh, and thank you once again for your service. That's insane, dude. We have a lot of military people that watch, I've noticed. Yeah. Jerome. All right, Jerome. all right, Cap. You want to get, you want to, you want to get destroyed? Is that it? Let's go. Okay. Oh my god. Before he left though, Sebastian with another $50 stream tip said, you know what, Garrett, bet. So he just took the captain from Garrett and now he's piecing the scene. Okay, let's do this. That's a mic drop if I've ever seen one. So, uh, do you want a Poke Heal? Because your your Pokemon aren't healed. I don't know if your other ones are. Oh, dang. Yeah, I can Poke Heal. Sebastian, thank you so much, dude. The captain, the man, the myth, the legend. Okay, bro. Here we go. All right. Let's do it, Cappy. Gross. Here we go. Battle for the ages, Jerome. All right. Let's do it. At least it. I hope so. I hope you don't donk on me right here. This is, We've been waiting for this. Yeah, I'm excited. Hey, Steve, are you at the office? I am. You might want to come in here. I got something to show you. Or someone, I should say. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Cappy, Cappy, Cappy. Wah. It's going to be My scary. God, Is Metagross fast or no? Mega Metagross can be, but he's not the fastest. Oh, player. nothing, Steve. Okay. I'm just over here hanging out with no. Sight Music 88. <laughs> he stole your old username, bro. What? <laughs> no. Yes, he did, and he's got the skin and everything. That's messed up. What's that? Sight Music 88. You might want to be careful that he doesn't get perms. Did it freeze? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. He's showing Steve. Oh, uh, okay. That's Sorry, Cappy. I was... Did you just explode, really? Yep. No. Well, <laughs> took you long enough. <laughs> Sorry, I was and showing that's Steve. That's why you should have damp. All right. Okay, here we go. Mm, let's go for it. 
that for our lucha was a great combo. Although, actually, I can't do acrobatics, so it's really not that good. Garrett with a $100 stream tip, though, okay. taking back the captain of the live stream. He said, sit down, child of mine. Papa's here. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Cap, you just destroyed him. But, uh, hey, Garrett, yeah. thank you for a $100 stream tip. You're the captain. He said, sit down, child of mine. Papa's here to be the captain. Garrett, you are indeed the captain of the live stream. Thank you so much for being an awesome supporter. You're just making this Sunday absolutely crazy for me. What a weekend starter. Or ender, sorry. What a weekend ender. Garrett, Jesus. All you guys with these heavy stream tips today. What is going on? Okay. Cheyenne okay. Osterlin, thank you for a $5 stream tip. I'm playing Skyrim right now. My character is a White Walker from the Game of Thrones. That's cool. I, I, I don't know. Does that mean like he looks like it? Or is that like a, a, like a class in that? Or? I'm assuming it looks like it. Okay, here we go. Unless you're playing with mods, then it's completely possible. Okay, okay, you switch out for Tyranitar, huh? Yeah. Didn't really think I had much of a choice here. Hmm. Hmm. You're probably gonna throw an earthquake there. Outrage. No! Ooh. I went for Stone Edge and he missed. All right, there we go. He got it on the second one. That's good. Jeez, okay. that's a big miss, though. That hurts. That hurts. Okay. Oh! This works. Someone gave you their, uh, someone gave you the super one, huh? Mmm. Cloister. Because I've seen this one with the exact name like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Cloister. Okay, Magnazone, huh? Yep. Go shift tree. Wow. That did some damage. Explosion? Woo! I was not expecting that, to be honest. Cloister. I mean, you should Ice shard. <laughs> you have Cloister. Thunderbolt on that thing, though. I was lucky. There we go. Cheyenne Ostler, thanks for a $5 stream tip. It's a mod that lets me be a White Walker race. Oh, nice. Yeah, I hear there's a great modding community for that game. It's really... really Jeez, good mod your Magnazone is such a problem for me. GG, buddy. I was I was nervous there. The beginning, you were crushing no, me. No, don't even talk to me. You Garbage. were beating get me. Out of here. You were beating me for the first half. Now, I'm about to get a hate Pokemon for you so hard, Jerome. So... What? You were literally be I, I'm. You were beating me for the first half. I. Mm, you have won every battle just because of some type advantage garbage. I am going to build a hate team for you, bro. So hard. Pokemon that learn explosion month. What did I just do? I'm gonna destroy you. What? I, bro, I literally was complimenting you. I was being serious. You no, were. I'm, go I'm gonna end your whole life. <laughs> You're crazy, man. He's bringing I want to win. Knife. I want to win. The butter knife is coming back out. I ain't care about you, like, winning. I want to win. Get out of here thinking I care about you winning. Get out of here. Someone... Oh, bro. Someone hit me up. Okay. What can I get that would actually fill this problem. I think I need to get a tur uh a lowland probably an electrode. Mm, no. You've got that Tyranitar and I've already got a lowland ge like golem, so I the fact that they on. require explosion limits your options. What are you talking about? That's my best feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like on his dating profile. <laughs> yeah, all my Pokemon no explode. <laughs> Okay, Pixelmon, Alolan, Executor, Spawn. A Ferrothorn could help slow the pace of the battle and help you get the oh, advantage. This Breloom put me to sleep and then one-shotted my Swampert. That's yeah, drum. brutal. Drum doesn't have many fire types, does he? So I ain't got to worry about fire that. fire type move. Okay. Warp. Oh, Tyranitar could get fire blast. 
Don't shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> Just, hey, you. So could Dragonite? <laughs> shut up. Yeah, okay, but if Dragonite learns Fire Blast, that opens him up to other Pokemon for me, though. Because is he going to run Fire Blast yeah, and yeah, Thunderbolt? Dragonite, Dragonite's going to die in one shot to Gyro Ball after setting up Dragon yeah. Dances. Like, if Dragonite doesn't, like, have Thunderbolt, then I can just keep my Cloister in. It already doesn't have Thunderbolt. What, what does it have? Ice Punch. Ice Punch? That's it? <laughs> Dragon Dance Roost, Ice Punch, and Earthquake. To be fair, I probably shouldn't have, like, stuck with Metagross in on the early, like, first match. I probably should have switched that guy out. God, Barrel Seed is um, such a Is Garchomp a dragon flying? Uh, no. Dragon ground. Dragon ground. Okay. Literally the opposite. Is ground... Four times <laughs> um, icy life. wind is... Okay. So Icy wind will be... Because the only time I'm supposed to use Icy wind is when it's four times effective. When it's four times effective or you need to slow the opponent down. Okay, Cookie Lover, I'm going to tell you right here and right now, telling me to battle you Butt Blaster is not the way. <laughs> What did that guy call you? Today? Captain Balls. <laughs> Captain Ball. <laughs> what is um? What is this Pokemon? I've never seen it in Psychic my. Psychic Fairy. Psychic Fairy. Okay, it's a Sludge Wave. Hit him with the Sludge Wave. Easy. Ding, ding, ding. It wears a hat like a dress. Um, Bug Steel. So. I'll just okay, use Shadow 29 Ball. 29 HP IVs. You know how we were just saying you didn't have any fire type moves? Yeah, it would help against that. Uh, Especially when it goes all uh, naked on you. Caesar. And oof. He's gonna just get so. He's about to kill my uh, Gengar, yeah. Special attack for, it's plus special attack on this Ferrothorn garbage. Okay, I can change its nature though. What do you think? That's an HP boy. Oh, oh Wobbuffet, no. Uh, the nature for Ferrothorn, I'm pretty sure it's defense. Let me double check. Okay, 31 defense IVs, so I'll go for it. Yeah. <sighs> Plus defense, minus speed. I mean, it's never going to be fast, right? Uh, it's actually, you want to go for plus special defense, minus speed. Plus special defense, minus speed. Wow. Okay. Okay, so now... Volcarona. Stone Edge? So I can one you actually you? want it to be as Just... slow as possible, so don't... GG. Okay. I'm in love with this new team now. It's really been uh, working out so far. Yeah, too well. I hate it. <laughs> okay. I'm getting this Pharaoh Seed evolved into Ferrothorn. It had 31 defense and they like defense IVs and uh, some good other IVs, so I'm pretty happy with it. Corviknight. Yikes. Okay. Um, switch, switch to Magnezone and trap it. It can't switch out against Magnezone, and you can kill it easily. Okay, using Thunderbolt, obviously, yeah. Good thinking. I forgot about that. He used Iron Defense, but I'm going to be using a special attack anyway, so who cares? That Corviknight is done. Yikes! I'm almost done. He used Body Press, and he got me to 2 HP. 2. Yeah, Corviknight's a bit of a problem, but... Oh god, Shedinja. I don't even remember. What 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 moves can hit Shedinja? Uh... Dark, Ghost, Fire. Guess we gotta opt for Rock. Ghost. Should I, I just let Magnezone yeah. die here, or should I... Eh. I can switch out to Gengar quick. Oh! I'd honestly... Oh, I was gonna say, I'd honestly... That was a big hit. Tar. Because Gengar is dead now because Shadow Sneak is priority. So he's getting, hey. can he do that again though, back to back? Oh, he, you you disabled it actually. He could have done it again, but you disabled it. Yay! The one-time curse Bonnie is useful. I died. 
Okay. <laughs> he had Sucker Never Punch mind. on it, too. Okay, yep, so. <laughs> Dark, you said, is good to him? Yeah, Tyranitar. Just go for a crunch. Okay, square up. Who wants to fight Cappy B over here? Or flying. We'll Cappy Cappy can do it, too. He switched out to a, a Mogus. Okay, what is a Mogus? Poison grass or something? Poison yes. grass, yeah. Dragon Boy. Okay. I am now sleeping. This is not good. Oh, he's lining up for the beam. Dang, that is unfortunate. I like chose Turtonator into a Greninja. Earthquake, I guess. Yeah, right. Uh, superpower would be super effective. Doesn't even matter. He one hit that. I think he's gonna one hit all my Pokemon here. Uh, Magnezone. Is dead. Oh, Magnezone's alive. Faster? Yeah, good point. Dang. I don't know if he'd be faster though. It'll depend. Forgot he was even. Nope, he was faster. I think he's about to one hit the literal rest of my entire team. Should I do close combat with Halucha? Yeah, on the off chance you live somehow. He switched out. I can't hit him. Interesting. Flying won't hit Shedinja, nope. right? Flying will hit Shedinja. In fact, go for a sword stance. Too late. I already made uh, the mistake. He should be Sash, so. Oh, he's not. Okay. Yes! Okay, Halucha yeah, killed him. But now you're double speed, so. You're but I'm good. paralyzed. So you're normal speed. Close combat against Kangaskhan? Yep. If I don't die. He used fake out on me. He's gonna kill me. No, I hit first, even while paralyzed. Are you kidding me? Yeah, because your speed is doubled, so you're at normal speed. Cinderace is just fire, right? Yes. So close combat or acrobatic? Probably acrobatics. Close combat. Close combat again. Wow. Oh, he bounced. He bounced. Ah. Okay. He hit me right in the okay. head. All right, Tyranitar. He's going to throw out his cloister, I bet. No, you would high jump kick and one hit me. Wow. Cloister. Hmm. Uh, what did he do that put me to sleep and did all that damage? I, that just cost me you the game. You were already asleep. You were uh, already asleep. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Let's roost if we can. No, I was paralyzed. Dang. That, that was the best I've unfortunate. <laughs> that guy's beating me every time, and that's the best I've ever done. So I'm definitely improving. Um, You're doing great, man. You we just fought a cookie lover. Okay. Oh, that is an interesting team. Alright, let's get moving on another battle. That was a really good one, though. That got me excited. Just the fact that I'm getting better and better against some of the more challenging opponents like that. Dude, you're doing really good. I'm just saying, we need to form our own Elite Four. Okay, Volcarona versus Swampert. I don't not like this setup. I'm gonna do Waterfall. Waterfall. It. Yeah. Oh, He's probably switched. gonna Giga Drain you. Hey, switch to Blastoise. Interesting choice. Um, I don't see a point in switching out, really. Do you? Uh, no. Go ahead and go for the Earthquake. It's free. Dang, survive at three percent. I do like that it tells you the percent now. Blast. All right, killed him. Yeah, that's what I thought. In the in-game chat, Ginger Snacks said he'll beat me when his Pokemon are level 100. I'm happy to raise the cap if you don't have level 100s. I don't oh. mind. Kinda scarred. <laughs> okay, strange scheme. Close combat, that lowers your defense, right? Or no? Close combat lowers your defenses. Uh, superpower lowers, it, lowers your physical attack and your physical defense. Wow, so... Superpower is not that good, is it? It's extremely powerful. 
but it comes at a cost. There we go. Salvador Leon, thanks for the $5 stream tip. He said, be a big brain and save money to buy a PC or be a massive brain and give Jerome more stream tips. Ooh, massive brain and give Jerome more stream Dude, if you got to save up money to buy a PC, do it, man. Don't worry about me. I appreciate it, but, um, but don't worry about me, my man. Get yourself a PC if you need one. How's your battle going, Jerome? Very well, but I feel bad because the guy didn't have level 100s for some of them. And I, like I said, I would have raised a cap if they didn't have that. You yeah. Know? Wow. His Dragonite. I threw out my Dragonite. He had his Dragonite out. And the only reason I did that is because I was pretty confident. Like, yeah, there's no way this guy's perfect IV and EV like I do on it. And he did. He actually, like, he. Yeah. What does it do? Does nice. it just like a coin toss rain if, if it's the same? Yep. yep. And it's not always the same, so you can go first one turn and second the next. Okay, here we go. Squaring up. Mm. Alright, we're raising the cap out here. What's capping him, bro? Oh, dang. So unless he's Aww. running energy ball, you're free to earthquake. This guy's playing some jank team. He switched that Shedinja in to tank my attack. Ooh. Man, fire type just bulldozes through my team, though. Man, this guy's got my number. I hate it. Hmm. Banette. Just earthquake him. This swamper's crushing this guy. Unless you have a grass type, swamper's difficult to deal with. Not My Metagross is paralyzed now. Great. There we go. He's on this Corviknight is OP. I hate this. What is this Corviknight garbage? Corviknight really is a problem. The fact that it can boost its events to then deal more damage. Ah, oh, God. All right, GG. So, so far, I, I have won every battle except against that guy I can never beat. <laughs> is, it so, is it Sato Raiku? I actually don't remember. I, I really got to start remembering the name. Because that guy's ridiculous. It might be. Is it the guy that has the names of his Pokemon? Like, 78 IV? Like, that, that, like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's crazy. That guy's crazy. I could probably beat him. Dude, I just got played. He hit me with U-turn and knew I was going to use Thunderbolt and throw it at a Garchomp, so he just got a free hit. And now it's Garchomp versus my Magnezone, which can only do Thunderbolt because it's locked into the move because of Choice Scarf, Swamper, dude. Swampert's your best switch in. Dude, he got me good there. Oh, 
Oh, I barely survived that. Ice oh, punched him, though. Okay. Shell smash. Then I died because he had a rocky helmet on. Yikes. All right, well, at least switch into Halucha. Start with Halucha. Whoa, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Tootie with a $20 stream tip. Said Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft. Everyone all together and chant Minecraft. Hey, Tootie. So Minecraft. Right now, so take the chance and go for the sword stance. Minecraft. I took a chance. Oh, my God. It paid off. Oh my god, dude. I'm now go for the acrobatics and you sweep, you're done. Tootie, yes. this team I have now is silly, bro. They're all max IV, all max EV, all the right nature, all with the best held item, and it's like a perfectly devised team. It is literally the most silly team you've ever uh, seen. Ah, you might be. I got doomed. Yeah, Overselling Wobble, it a little Wobble bit. Fett is a different kind of breed. But yeah, Tootie, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm hanging out with Tootie all next week. It's gonna be awesome. I'm jealous. Tootie's a cool guy. Yeah. Salvador Leon thanks the five dollar stream tip. But Mr. Drum, what Ooh. is uh wait, what is I would like to buy your love and affection? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm so um. confused. Is this, is this Jeopardy? That's what I was just thinking. Like he's why was that posed like a Jeopardy question? Or Jeopardy mm -hmm. answer. Bro, I don't know what movie just did to me, but that was brutal. That just spelled the death of that Tyranitar. That was yikes. Okay, um... I think he bug buzzed you. Would you do Dragonite or Gengar in this case? Probably Dragonite, Dragon Dance, and crush him. Uh, you don't want to Dragon Dance in this thing's face. Um... The other option Gengar is Gengar. Gengar Sludge Wave might be better. Alright, let's go for it. Mega Gengar Sludge Wave. Gengar. Bug doesn't resist poison, does it? I don't think so. I was about to say, well, we're about to find out the hard way if it does. Oh my god, he hit first. Uh, he quiver danced at some point. I didn't see him quiver dance. Dude, my Dragonite, I don't I don't have any way of winning this battle, I don't think. I can ice punch him and that's it. No, Earthquake would be stronger. But he's flying, isn't he? Nope. No. Bugs what? Fire. Oh, heck yes. We are earthquaking then. But bug resist ground, so it's neutral. Yeah, so. Uh, Dragonite lived. That's the price. Scale. Hmm. Greninja, Earthquake. Yeah, but he's gonna yeah, probably one, kind of one hit you. me. Yep. Now my Magnezone is about to just. Come on. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. Your scarf, she should hit first. He switched out to Caesar. Let's see this. The Caesar Does Magnezone Does Magnezone come with levitate or no? Um no. no. Dang, okay. GG. I got outplayed for sure on that one. I didn't see that that Volcarona got a quiver dance up on you. No, I was wondering why you didn't want to go Dragonite. Like you could dragon dance in its face, you're scaled. Okay, and then this for one, two, three, four. Confirm selection. Okay. Okay, so I'm hoping that someone will pick up that Bennett I, I just put on GTS so that I can buy a, a few more moves. Mega Manette is a Pokemon that I wish was better. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with it? It just doesn't do what regular Banette wants to do. Can I go on a rant yeah, that right. I've gone on countless times? What? For it. Why did they invent Ghost Type for Gen 1 when literally only the Ghastly Lineage was Ghost Type and nothing else? You could else? say the same about Dragon. You could say the same yeah. about Psychic. Well, I mean, there's two for Psychic, but... Why was Ghost Type only physical in Gen 1 when Gengar was primarily a special attacker? Why did they get rid of the Wait. explosion mechanic that half people's defenses? Wait. We'll never know. Ghost Type was physical? What do you mean? In the first three gens, your whether your move was physical or special was based on the type, and Ghost was physical. So 
every wait, ghost move wait, wait, was wait. physical for the first three gens. I never knew that that was... So it wasn't until Diamond and Pearl that that mattered? Mm -hmm. Yep. What? How did I never know this? Every fire, grass, water, and psychic move was special. Every normal, dark, ghost, steel, rock, and ground move was physical. And I missed like a few in there, but meh. Why would they do that with ghosts? That's no, so no, silly. I think dark was special, wasn't it? I thought it was physical because bite why and crunch. That's why was so bad. Wait, oh, yeah, so was, was Gengar just trash in Gen 1, 2, and 3? Yeah. Well, yes and no. The yeah. elemental punches were a thing, and he didn't have stab, but he got those and all of those, despite being the elemental punches, were special. So you had Gengars running around using fire punch, ice punch, and thunder punch, and dealing a ridiculous amount of damage with it. He might have also still gotten bolt beam. Uh... He got yeah. bolt. I don't think he got beam. That's ice punch made up for See, it. See, that's crazy. I'm just learning about all that now because I literally like. Yeah. I always thought that Gengar was a beefcake, but I would, and I used to use him in Gen Two, I think. But like hearing that, was that just a terrible mistake? If you were only using ghost type moves, yeah, you were using physical Gengar. Okay, something weird over here just happened. I got switched into with a Garchomp with like Rocky Helmet into my Meteor Mash, and it didn't take any damage. Meteor Mash can miss. Did you miss? No, because the Rocky Helmet hurt me. Uh, it sucks. Like, what even is that? Th that's that's a bug. Yeah. Well, like thing's you... been bugged for years. You're an exploiter cafe. Like, um, Dragon Rage was the only dragon move in Gen 1. What was that icicle spear? How did my skill link icicle... Okay. It, like, bugged out and showed him with only half his health gone. Like, what is happening? A weird day, everybody. Uh, yeah, let's hit him with acrobatics. Oh, Gengar got hit hard. I also love how... What move was it? Wasn't in Gen 1, Fissure entirely broken with a 100% success rate of hitting? Oh, Machamp with Fissure? Well, no, there... I think it was based on something else. It was based on speed. Close No, that was crit. I thought it oh, would... Wait, yeah. wait, I thought it always hit or something like that. Wasn't there like a glitch? Or am I just making that up entirely? I feel like there was a glitch. I don't know what it is. I know there's the uh, speed uh, exploit with crits. Because your crit rate was based on your speed stat against the other Pokemon. Wow, your crit rate was based... Is it based on anything nowadays or no? It's just chance. I say back then, focus energy actually lowered your crit rate. No mm -hmm. explanation. It was just a bug. What? Yeah, <laughs> the move, the move designed to increase your crit rate lowered it for no reason. No way. That's hilarious, actually. Oh, that's right. Machamp's ability no guard makes it always hit a move. Yep. But the thing is, abilities weren't added in until, like, Gen 3. Well, actually, whenever they came out with that uh, DS, mm. Pokemon Yellow, you could trade up a, like, Pokemon Yellow Machamp, and it would have no guard, and you could teach it Fissure. Well, yeah, but it's just going to give it something random. Oh, here's a no, funny one. Had no guard in so yellow. I wasn't able to find the Gen oh 1 God. glitch, but the Horn Drill and Fissure glitch is a glitch in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, which causes the move Counter to deal mm. damage, believed to be infinite, when Horn Drill or Fissure is used by another Pokemon and misses. <laughs> oh. It's pretty funny. But also that very situational. Funny. Like, someone has to use Horn Drill or Fissure. Like, that... Yeah, that's, like, never oh gonna God. happen. 
Okay, Jerome, you ready to fight again and make me cry a little? <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. Oh okay, well, let's go, let's go. I I'm loving the 6v6. Wait. Where are you at? It was, I think it has to do with X accuracy. I'm trying to read through this document here. Let me see. Gen 1 Hi. X accuracy fissure. I think that might have been what it is. The accuracy of OHKO is affected by the standard accuracy. Okay. Fly gun. Wait, let me see. Gen 1. I'm trying to read up on this, but I should probably finish up this battle here. Um. Oh, yo. We got 90 people online, Jerome. No way! Are we really at 90 right now? That's crazy. 91. Let's go! Thank you, everyone! That's insane! And X accuracy will guarantee that all one-hit KO moves hit. Bruh. Yeah, Is that, like, cause... still canon? No, because the way X accuracy used to work is it would just bypass all evasion checks. But now it just increases your accuracy, which is actually a stat in the game now, whereas before it was not. So before it would just bypass the evasion check, because evasion was based off of... What was evasion based off of? Was that another one that was based off of speed? I don't know. I don't know. Gen 1 was funky. Okay. More Cloister. Bulletproof. Hmm. Earthquake. Well, it's Machamp versus Swampert. I don't like that very much. I might. I'm tempted to switch out for Dragonite. Yeah, let's just do it. Because um, I can tank the hit with my multi scale. Yeah, and plus it was a fighting move. Comes if he runs Stone Edge. Yeah, but Stone Edge can miss though. Ooh. Nope, he just used Vital Throw. He's only using fighting moves. So I'm just going to keep Dragon Dancing on this guy. Dual Remember Chop. The roost every now and then as well. Yikes! He had Dual Chop. That's Roost. Yep. All right, we're going to have to take this guy out, unfortunately. I only got two Dragon Dances in, but hey, that's two more than I would have had. Yep, now this Dragon Knight's just going to... I think this Dragon Knight's just going to be running through him. Yeah, it's now one hit the last three Pokemon and outspeeded them, too. Oh, but here I've met my match, probably. Golem? Because he's probably got... If he has Sturdy, if he doesn't, then... I'm not going to risk it. I'm actually going to Roost. Dragonite, normal dragon, or flying dragon? Flying dragon. Flying dragon. You, you, you. I always thought Gyarados should have been dragon. I, I, I was shocked when I found it was water flying. Like, what the heck? Does he even learn any flying moves? Hurricane. Bounce. Well, I just got all of my um, dragon dances off with Dragonite now, so he one-hit that Pokemon. One-hit this one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a wrap. He's got six dragon dances going. Nice. I feel bad. Okay, Jerome. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Where are you at? Let's... Turd the Cloud Watcher. Yeah. Okay. Fingers crossed. Ooh. Wheezing. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Woo! Two heavy hitters right back to back, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. You were okay. priming to explode, weren't you? Yeah. <gasps> that double speed helps out. <laughs> How does it get double speed again? When you use your flying gem. Flying gem gives you double speed as well as... No, that's your ability is unburdened. When you use that's your right. item, you get double speed. Well, he wasn't fast enough to beat Metagross there. Uh, that's the power of priority. Okay, let's see how we do. 
Swamp Earth's your best map. I was place. literally about to click that, yeah. Mm. I was like, that just seems smart. Mm. Mm. Dude, we have more people joining. This is crazy how many people are joining the server. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's go, shift tree. Hi. You might have me on this one. I need to just work on diversifying my team. We've got a real general team over here. I'm just going to hope I can outspeed him. No, I couldn't. Okay. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Mm. We've encountered this so many times, this exact scenario. Yeah, and it's rough on me every time. You, I mean, honestly, most of the time. That's the first time you've ever let that happen. You usually shift him out. Yeah. Well, I mean, he would have, he would have hurt anybody, honestly. I'm waiting for Jerome to realize that that's a free dragon dance opportunity. Right now on Golem, I'm doing it right now on this no, Golem. No, 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 no. Okay. He exploded. Boom! He exploded. God. That's yeah, 600 I, the, some the odd damage. The dragon dance opportunity was against the shift tree. This explosion just barely kills you as Dragonite. Okay. I'm hoping that I don't I ran die that from damage this Gengar. for him. Dang, that one hit KO from the Gengar though. Yeah, Sludge Cloyster wave. is so frail, especially. There's just nothing it can do. That Sludge Wave miss? Oh no, I just scrolled up. Is it frozen? Mm, oh no, sorry. I gotta click. Dang, GG. G G, buddy. G G. Dang, dude. You've just got Pokemon that are such good answers to me, bro. I developed it to be cappy proof. No, I'm just kidding. That's not <laughs> the plan all along. <laughs> Haters. Oh, MRB is challenging me. Let's go, dude. Sebastian, thank you for a five dollar stream tip. J Mac Jr. wants you to say mustard tiger? Huh? What's that mean? But also, what's up, Sebastian? I thought you headed out earlier, dude. Yeah, man. Why are you still here? I mean, we love you, but why are you still here? Ooh. This is difficult, because he might run energy ball. But if he doesn't, a superpower would be an excellent hit into him. Mm. Oh, he dragon pulsed. But that's fine, because Ice Punch is about to just... Why did he lose that's some right. HP? Life Orb. Oh, okay. And well... that's why I superpower and not Ice Punch, because now he lives and kills your Swampert. Mm. Mm. Shift three. Let's throw out Magnezone. Let's get crazy. Versus Rotom. Ooh, what what type of Rotom is this though? Uh, fire. Yikes! Terrible for me. Tyranitar, it is. Are they all ghost and whatever type, or is he just fire? Electric in the type. Electric in the type. So okay. he's electric and fire. Was he ever electric ghost, or am I just making that up entirely? The original Rotom is electric ghost, and in Gen 4, they didn't replace the types at all, so all of them were electric ghost. But that changed in Gen 5. Oh, there were different versions of it in Gen 4? I didn't even know that. Same versions, the type change just wasn't a thing. Oh, okay. I blinked. How did you kill the Metagross? Earthquake. Big smash. Nice. I actually Drum. traded out my... Uh... Did you use Earthquake on a Rotom? 
No, did you? They have levitate. I'm glad it worked because you switched. But I didn't know he had levitate, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, all right, so ice type probably. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I guess Magnazone. I was literally switch. about to say, yeah, probably Magnazone. I actually replaced my Metagross's, whatchamacallit, my hammer arm with Earthquake for that Magnus. Oh, oh smart. Mm -hmm. He threw out Fire Rotom. Dang. Okay, well, time to switch out again. This whole time I've been fighting you, Jerome, you've been, like, switching right into what I plan to do, and I want you to get out of my head, by the way. Uh, dude, I, entirely unintentional. Dude, like, the in every single match, like, three times in a row, you got type advantage first Pokemon for me. And I was like, what is happening? Jerome, Jerome we just discussed this. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, <laughs> no going back now. There's no going back, Ooh. Rain. This is why we didn't trust you with a mold breaker, Mon. He wouldn't break mold. He lives by it. There's no real way out of this situation, Ooh. is there? You're going to have to sack something, and at this point, Dragonite's the best bet. Um, so I just ice punch it Ooh. and then go into Halucha Raw afterwards. You know, Rain, it's completely weird trying to get used to the fact that I have a move that does 600 damage. Because, like, what sort of things can I just power through at that point you know anything that doesn't resist mostly like because that's huge right most pokemon barely peak out at like 300 health right uh yeah for the most part so i can i can one hit ko a lot of things with like a guaranteed hit as long but, as i don't die first yeah, it just depends because it's like you barely kill the Dragonite. It's a 98 to 101 percent that you deal. So yeah. there's a two percent chance that you don't. Actually, a 66 percent chance that you don't. One hit. I, I thought about getting rid of the uh, Electric Gym for a Focus Sash or something. Focus Band. I wouldn't do Focus Band. It's a 10 percent chance. It's never gonna happen. Focus Sash maybe, but not Band. Yeah, it's bas it's basically sturdy without needing sturdy, right? Yep. Power through that minimize, get dunked on, scrub. I think that Drift Loom, if I can train it up, will be a good choice, though. If you hit the Focus Blast, you can kill this thing, Jerome, but that's probably the only chance. You think he's going to one-hit me if I don't? I Darmanitan is a beast. I'm gonna, I don't want to risk it. Wow, he hit first anyway. That takes care of that debate. Thunderbolt. I yeah, the flash cannon's super effective, but he's got other. Oh, it doesn't matter. He rode him anyway. I'm about to get, just get one hit here for sure. Oh Actually, no! You should be faster. Yeah. <laughs> Flare blitzed. Ah, GG. Well, I think this might be the perfect place to call it quits, everyone. We had a super fun time. We're gonna catch you guys in two more days with another live stream. But apart from that, have an amazing rest of your weekend, everybody. Thank you for being here today with us. And uh, have a good one. Thanks for uh, ending off your week with us. Bye, guys.